about Mediterranean diet, its features, and how we can incorporate this diet into Indian diet. Mediterranean diet is considered to be the best diet in the world. Scientific research shows that this diet prevents heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer, stroke. Mediterranean diet has traditionally been consumed by people living in the Mediterranean Sea region such as Greece, Italy, Turkey, Syria. Mediterranean diet is a way of eating. It is not restricted to individual foods. Let us look at the features of Mediterranean diet and compare it with Indian diet. The first feature of Mediterranean diet is fruit. Fruit is readily available in India and I must say that the fruit juices should be consumed with fruit fiber and fruit roughage in a smoothie form. The second feature is vegetables. In Indian cooking, vegetables are overcooked, over salted. Lightly cooked vegetables are better and healthier because they release micronutrients and are easy to digest. The third feature of uh, Mediterranean diet is whole grains. It is disappointing to see that um, we are moving away from traditionally used multigrains and are replacing them with refined white flour and finely ground whole wheat flour. Fourth feature is beans and lentils. They are a good source of protein, especially for vegetarians. Fifth feature is herbs and spices. We do eat a lot of herbs and spices. Maybe that is why Indians have the lowest rate of cancer in Canada. The next feature of Mediterranean diet is olive oil. In Mediterranean regions, olive oil is taken in uncooked form and raw. It is a good source of uh, vitamin E, monounsaturated fats, and anti-inflammatory compounds. Olive oil has a smoke point of 410 degrees, and that makes it ideal for cooking and baking. Deep fried should be eliminated. Frying degrades healthy compounds into toxic agents. Repeatedly heating oils to high temperature introduces toxic chemicals to our diet. The seventh feature of Mediterranean diet is fish. Fish is a good source of protein and other nutrients. Uh, fish is heavily consumed in Indian coastal areas, not as much inland. The eighth feature of Mediterranean diet is eggs. Eggs, uh, they are a good source of protein. Uh, I must say Indian breakfast is virtually fried carbohydrates. The ninth feature is uh, brown rice, whole wheat couscous, bulgur and farro. In India we eat a lot of rice and that is white rice. White rice should be substituted with uh, pearl millet, brown rice, parboiled rice and quinoa. The tenth feature is red meat. In the Mediterranean regions, red meat is uh, consumed in small portions and that too uh, twice a week. I am um, happy to say that uh, red meat consumption in Indian diet is very low. The next feature is poultry. Chicken is India's preferred non-vegetarian protein source and it's healthier. Next feature is dairy products. Yogurt and cheese should be consumed in a low fat form. In Mediterranean diet, snacks are generally nuts and fruits. We need to eliminate deep fried snacks and replace them with non-salted and non-fried snacks. The last feature is sweets. In Mediterranean diet, sweets are taken occasionally and as treats only. Sweets are a big part of Indian diet and we need to do something about that. Now you know what Mediterranean diet looks like. Why can't we have a diet that incorporates features of both diets? And call it, can anybody guess, Mediterranean diet. I coined this term when I was researching and preparing for this talk. Anyhow, I will be releasing a video in a very near future about my Mediterranean diet. I hope you found this talk informative, like it, subscribe it and stay tuned for more videos.